Good morning, guys. Larry Algy here. It's a Sunday morning, and uh, good to be here with y'all. God bless you. I want to go over some of the changes, the Mandela effect, or quantum, or whatever you want to call it. I uh, don't want to really labor a lot on this, but if you got a notebook, you might want to grab it. I'm going to go through a lot of scriptures. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but I would like to put it out there so you can put it in your own notes and, and open your Bible and, and see what you think about it. So let's see here. If you're ready to start, get your notebook. Dear Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to speak to people and uh, to get your word out. And we're in, in, in no means coming against the word of an almighty God, the word that you read on my heart. I'm not coming against your word. I'm just pointing out that this... This Bible I have here is the same one I read a long time ago. It's, it, it, the words are different. So we thank you, Lord, that help open people's hearts and let them see what, give them eyes to see. And just, we thank you, Lord. So here we go. If you got a notebook, um, we got changes, see. Ezekiel 2 and 1. I mean, Exodus, my bad. Exodus 2 and 1, they change basket to ark, pitch to slime, reeds to flags, and the edge of the river to the brink of the river. Just a small thing. And in Daniel 6 2, it says Daniel and his fellows are presidents now. That's, they weren't called presidents. Acts 28 15, Paul went to a tavern, the three taverns, and it's all capitalized. Look it up. First book of Kings used formally the third book. Look in your heading over the first books of Kings. My Bible mouse says formally the third book of Kings. Uh, Luke 19.27. He said that they, if they don't believe, bring them before me and slay them. That don't sound like my Lord. Mark 2.22. Wine bottles. They didn't need my bottles back then. And and the whole the whole pre the whole teaching thing on that wouldn't work with bottles. Bottles will bust. The wine was put in skins because it flexed when it fermented. And in my Bible, in the glossary, still says wine skins. So he didn't get it all changed, did he? Exodus thirty four twenty nine and thirty four twenty nine through thirty five. Exodus thirty four twenty nine through thirty five. Moses has horns now. News to me. Habakkuk. Three, three and four. Horns coming out of his hands? Hmm. Now, look here. Does the word Messiah appear in the Bible anymore? One time. It's not in the New Testament. It's some other word, Messiah or something. M-E-S-S-I-A-S. -S -S -S. Look it up. Zechariah 5 and 9. Women angels? I looked for that because I never believed in all these little female angel figures everywhere. It's not right. James one twenty five. I know this one. Be ye a doer of the word. Be not only a hearer of the word, but be ye a doer of the word also. It now says doer of the works. So go figure. Oh, Luke 17.31. Here's some new words in the Bible. In Luke 17.31, the word stuff. In Luke 2 and 46, doctors. Luke 19 and 23, bank. Mark 15 and 43, he craved the body. Jeremiah 24, 2, naughty pigs, is in the of naughty pigs. <laughs> 1 Chronicles 22 and 5, the word magnifical. 1 Samuel 9 and 2, goodlier. Numbers 31 and 10, goodlier castle. And in Genesis 36 and 15, it says dupe, dupes. And when we go, I got pages of it. And in uh, Isaiah eleven six, the lion's going to lay down with the wolf. I mean, the lion's going to lay down with the lamb. Not the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. That's wrong. Luke 22 and 34, John 13 and 38, Mark 14 and 30. Do y'all know how many times the cock crowed? Look it up. Should be three, right? Matthew 7, 1. Judge not that you be not judged is changed. Matthew 7 and 26. Built on the rock. 
not sand, folks. The sand now, you look it up. The house is built on the rock that was sand. Okay. Genesis 3.20, wife's name Eve. I'd have to refresh on that one. Genesis 5.2, in a house, wise men. I got question marks here because I'm not sure what that, I wrote it down, so it must be something. Okay, Numbers 11.12, a nursing father. What? Ah, Isaiah 60.16, sucking on men's breast. Hmm, don't sound right. Luke 17.34, two men in a bed. Leviticus 17, 10 to 14. You're not supposed to drink blood. I don't care what it says now. Ezekiel 39, 17 and 19. Allowed? You have to look that up. I'm not sure. Not either. But it's a change. Zechariah 11, 9, 11 and 9. says eating flesh. You're not supposed to eat flesh. The Bible says piss six times now. I only remember it once. 1 Samuel 25 and 22, 1 Kings 16 and 11, 14 and 10, 21, 21, 2 Kings 9 and 8. Okay, unicorn is in the Bible nine times now. Yeah, in Numbers 23 and 22, 24 and 18, in Job 39, 9 and 10, Deuteronomy 33, 17, Psalms 22, 20, Psalms 29.6, Psalms 92.10. Unicorn, huh? The Bible says men, men eat poop now in Isaiah 36.12. And in Luke 19.27, I just got a question mark. Must be something wrong. Changes, more silly words. Deuteronomy 6, 11 and 12, Philodist. 1 Kings 1 through 9, clothes, should be garments. Proverbs, yeah, because David was one of my favorites. I read him. They said they put garments on him and he couldn't get heat. Then he got heat. He put the clothes on. Here's a big one. Wait, Proverbs 1 and 3. Read Proverbs 1 and 3 if you're an English teacher. The, gra the grammar is all messed up. Acts 12 and 24. I mean, Acts 12, 4. But they waited till after Passover. It now says... They waited till after Easter. In my Bible, Easter. All right, come on. Somebody talk to me. Acts 12 and 4 after Easter. Should be Passover. Luke 5 and 24, couch instead of bed. Should be bed. And Matthew 6 and 21 is just backwards. Leviticus 12, 6 and 8. Bring a spotless turtle. I never heard of that. I, I got friends that love turtles, and they're like, well, I don't remember that being in there. So there's that. Did we get them all? I don't think so. We went over that. We went over that. And, and there's many, many more. That's just a small list. I got a few more pages. It's just hard to believe, and some people can't see it, and it, it amazes me that, that people that know the Bible are like, no, nah, it's just the same, and I'm like, <gasps> I mean, when I first started seeing this, I prayed, I laid in bed, I thought, Lord, I am losing my mind, because I am telling my, my brother and my dad, and they're like, you're crazy, the Word of God does not change, and I'm like, Phew. and I finally accepted that the Word of God does not change, but the ink on this page is changing, I don't care what you say, so God bless you. I hope it didn't do good too fast. I guess you can rewind and, and look all this up yourself if you know the, the Bible like 20 years ago or whatever. If you just started reading the Bible a year ago, it's going to be hard for you to figure this one out. This is for the old school. I, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying if you didn't read the Bible 10, 15 years ago and know it well and not be blinded by this great deception that we're under, you'll get it. So there you go. I love you. Lord, let him have him say it. I'm out. Larryology Young 3. Check it out.